Mr. Lerman Rahim, this video is uh, from uh, Nodal Analysis, and here I'll solve practice problem 10.2, uh, which I had missed earlier. So straight away, uh, we come to the practice problem 2. We have to calculate V1 and V2 in this circuit. So this is V1 and this is V2. And the answer is also given. So we have to match our calculation with the answer. Now the first thing we note, that since there is a voltage source between two nodes, it is a super node. So you can see, and if there is a source, between two nodes, then the circuit will be treated as super node. And what do you do for the super node? Two actions are to be taken. First of all, this whole thing is considered as one point, one dot. So this is, we consider as one dot, and we write KCL equation in this. The number two thing is that the super node, node area, this one, is separately considered and here we write the KVL equation. So let's see. So let's uh, write the equation for the KCL part here. And uh, I have marked current directions. Uh, you can mark your own current directions and also you can give a uh, name to these currents. But since it's a simple circuit, we'll do it directly. So the current entering here, you can see there's one current entering and three currents leaving. So we can write the equation. By KCL, current entering is 75 minus V1. And I'm not writing angle zero. There's no need of writing when the angle is zero. So just 75 minus V1 divided by four. And leaving is V1 divided by J4. And here it is V2 divided by minus J1, and this one is V2 divided by 2. Now we'll uh, multiply with the LCM, that is 4J or J4. So it will uh, be simplified. This will become J75 minus JV1. And I hope you can follow, multiply with J4. So this goes, so V1 left. Here we get minus 4V2, and from here we get plus J V2. Now we collect the like terms. So V1 terms, V2 terms, take V1 common from here, from here. And I'm just trying to eliminate this minus sign in between. So further manipulation. Now this is our equation number one for the KCL circuit. Now we'll write equation for the KVL circuit. And this is very simple. You can go from here, negative V1 plus 160 negative v1 plus 100 angle 60 plus v2 or you could write directly from here that is v1 minus v2 is equal to this one which is here from here also you can get the same v1 minus v2 is equal to 100 angle 60. so this is second equation and from the two equations you can solve it by either finding value from here putting that value of v1 and solving and similarly for V2, but the easiest way I find is to take help of matrix. So we write the matrix equation, magnitude of this one, magnitude of this one, and magnitude plus uh, one of this, and magnitude minus one of, of, of V2. And the outputs, uh, this output J75, and this output is 100 angle 60. So we are here, uh, and from here now we'll uh, write delta 1 is the determinant for this one. And we know you cross multiply, so this 1 plus j multiplied by minus 1, minus this one, so minus 4 uh, plus j2 into 1. And you can simplify by any of the methods that you have learned. You simply open the bracket and add or you can use your calculator, but make sure your calculator is in complex mode uh, before you solve this. So this is the answer 3.J3. Similarly, for delta 1, we replace the first column by the output. So replacing the first column by output 
again cross multiplying we get this equation and simplifying we get this value again i'm emphasizing unless your calculator is in complex mode you cannot solve this so easily and delta 2 again we replace the second column this column is replaced with the output cross multiply and simplifying this is the answer and now that we know the values v1 will be delta 1 over delta plug in this value of delta 1 here and this value of delta solving we get this in rectangular form converting into polar form we get this answer this is what is given in the book and similarly for v2 delta 2 over delta putting the value of v2 uh, from here and this is delta solving we get the answer so this is how you solve but i'll uh, in the next slide i'll try to show you a slightly simpler technique uh, if you are comfortable you follow that else you, you we end here thank you Okay, now in the previous slide we had shown this this is how you will do in your paper uh, what I'm going to show, show here is as to how to find these answers easily uh, instead of going through all putting all values um, every time so let's let's follow this one what you can do is on a rough, a rough paper you can assign this as a this as B this as c this as d there are nine variables actually on the computer a calculator so you can use any of these so we have assigned these uh, four variables here and then what we'll do is uh, this answer you can see for delta this is a minus one so it is minus a then minus one into b is minus b we'll assign this answer another value m and similarly delta 1 will be minus c so minus c and minus bd minus bd and we assign this another value x and delta 2 will be ad minus c so ad minus c and this will be assigned another value y and now to calculate the voltage v1 and which is delta 1 over delta simply we have to write x divided by m and for V2, we, uh, which is delta 2 over delta, we have to write uh, Y divided by M. So let's see how to do that. The first thing you have to do, whether you are doing this calculation or you are doing this calculation, to make sure that your calculator is in complex mode. So, and to ensure that, we have to press this mod switch. 2 is for complex, so press 2. And now you are sure that your calculator is in complex mode. Now, first of all, the assignment of the variable. So 1 plus j is uh, 1. So we'll write 1 plus j is i actually. And to assign, we have to press shift and store. So we are actually trying to store it as what? A. So press A here. And this arrow is showing that, yes, this has been stored clear this minus 4 plus 2i will be b so minus 4 plus 2i shift store as b stored 75j or 75i shift store as C clear and 100 angle 60 100 for angle we have to use this so shift angle 60 and this will be stored as shift store D so all the four variables have been stored and now we'll work this delta and delta is minus A minus B clear this so minus a now to input these values we have to every time press alpha and then the variable so alpha a 
सो माइनस ए माइनस अल्फा बी इक्वल साइन सो थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वन सो यू कैन राइट इट हेयर एज वी हैव रिटर्न थ्री सॉरी थ्री माइनस थ्री आई और थ्री जे सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर डेल्टा नाउ एज ए मैंशन इट इज ईजियर इफ वी कैन असाइन दिस ऑल्सो ए वैल्यू वेरिएबल सो वील प्रेस इट आंसर एंड शिफ्ट स्टोर एज एम हेयर इज एम सो दिस इज ऑल्सो स्टोर्ड clear now delta 1 is minus c minus bd minus alpha c minus alpha b alpha d equal sign so this variable if it is not visible clearly we press sd so 373 uh, 171j so 373.2 171j so this is the value will assign this as x so to assign that press answer shift store as x sorry shift store x okay so this arrow is showing that it has been stored clear now we come to delta 2 which is ad minus c so shift a uh, sorry alpha a alpha d minus alpha c and this value is again not very leg legible so we'll press sd so minus 36 plus 61 so Minus thirty six plus sixty one. So this is delta two. We'll assign this also a value. So answer shift store y. This is y. So this has been saved as well. Now uh, and this value we have got all three. So now v one is simply x over m. So we go here. and write x alpha x divided by alpha m equal sign so this is the value we we'll write as d so this is in uh, rectangular form 33.63 angle min uh, sorry j90 now since our answer in the book is in polar form to go to polar form we press shift complex 3 for r and theta 3 equal and sd so 96.79 96.8 angle 69.66 so this is the answer for v1 similarly for v2 we'll do y over m where again alpha y divided by alpha m equal sign sd so minus 1636 4.1 minus 1636 4.1 convert into polar shift complex 3 equal sd so 16.88 angle 165.7 so this is how you can do it uh, with less hassle thank you